Hello everyone, I am Shadash Rao. Today's session, we are going to learn pagination in the servlet. How to create a pagination by using the servlet? Now, pagination means whenever we are getting a large response, for example, we are getting uh, hundreds of records, it is it's not possible to display in a uh, one page. We need to uh, it, we can display it in multiple pages. For that, uh, we, uh, there is a concept is available in the pagination. Now, for a given request, if the response content is too large, then the end user lose the concentration to observe the response of that request. When the response content is too heavy or a too large, then instead of displaying a total response at once, we can divide that response content into the multiple pull web pages and we can show page by page of the response this concept is called pagination for example in gmail the mails of inbox are displayed in the page by page manner this is the pagination if you see the gmail also it can be all it's the in the gmail all mails are not uh, showed at it uh, at once it can be showed in uh, i think he said 25 First and after uh, whenever you are clicking on the next, it displays 25. This is called a pagination. If you want to implement the pagination, we can. I can give you how to implement that pagination with the simple example how to do the pagination in the servlet. Now I can explain the example. See here. I can explain the example if the pagination this is also I am get I am fetching the records from the database uh, now this is my HTML page in this HTML page I am going to select this is my HTML page this is my solid this is my database Whenever we are giving a request to servlet, the servlet will be communicated to database and it gives the response to servlet and the servlet is response to here. Now, this is my index.html page. Index.html page. This is my request. This is my servlet. This is my database. Now I'm giving a one link here. Get all employees. Whenever you are clicking on the get all employees, the request is hits on the server. Now this is my server. This is my server. The request hits on the server. The server is response. It executes the particular servlet's business logic, service method, and executes the business logic, and executes the whatever you are getting all the employees. It fetch, it executes the query on that particular database and get the results and send it into the response. This is my response page. In this response page, there is a multiple pages are available. This is my table, sorry. This is my table. In this my table, I'm showing like table. Show as a table. Now, this is result i'm clicking one two three how many pages we got it i can give you a page links here this is my request this is my response this is my response this is my response now i can explain with the coding for this example how we can execute the query on the database 
now this is this is also nothing but is that a server related to database server related to database communication in this example in the previous example in the server related to database communication video i can explain the approach one here approach one is we can open the connections and execute the queries and return the result set everything will be do in the service method only now i can uh, i can explain this example in the pagination example i am go with the approach to in this approach to i can the open the connection in the init method and execute the queries in the service method i am the closing the connections in the destroy method this is the approach to this is the database communication by using the approach to now i can explain with the simple example the pagination example the pagination i am in this pagination i am getting the all the employees from the data all the employees uh, whatever the uh, employees are available in the employee table i am getting the all the employees and i can display the uh, into the uh, response in this response i am uh, i am displaying uh, in the table only five records at a time uh, if with the more than five records i will display into the pagination paging now in this pagination i can follow with the database communication with the second approach this is my solid this is my web.xml this is my index file see here this is index file just i'm putting one link here get all the employees in this get all the employees i am writing the um, one url pattern that is ps question mark page number one now i am created a one servlet here that is called pagination servlet the pagination servlet is extending from the http servlet see here where i am calling the uh, i am opening the database connection in the init method the init method is executed at once whenever you are raising the request it can be executed init method only once at a time and destroy method it can be executed only once at a time the service method executed whenever we are raising request it can be executed service method every time whenever the servlet is initiated that that time only init method and destroy method will be executed and each and every request the service method will be executed this is my service method this is uh, do get and do post i am extending from the http servlet that's why i am overriding the do get and do post method the the request it's may be a do get or it's may be a get method or it may be a post method in this i am calling just this is my process method is a user defined method i am create a process method it i am taking the parameters http request and http response see here in this i am declaring a some variables method level variables i am getting the pay i am initializing the page number is zero i am getting the total number of records is zero and uh, records per page i am displaying only three records per page i am declaring start index is zero i am declaring number of pages is zero now i am reading start i am reading the query parameter request dot get parameter of page number why because i am passing the page number with the query string question mark page number is equal to 1 here i am passing the query string page number is equal to 1 now i am reading that parameter by using request dot get parameter whatever the page number is available that will be stored into the page s page number now i am writing here finding the starting point to display the records select employee from the table move the cursors to the starting point use the loop to display the employees on the browser three employees at a time it can be displayed only three employees my starting index what are the page number is available this is the page number means i am reading the i am getting the request i am getting the uh, page number from my request uh, that uh, page number into what are what are the records per page here i mentioned record per page is 3 minus record per page plus 1 now page number is 1 1 into 3 3 minus record per page record per page means 3 plus 1 4 means start index is 1 see here calculate 1 into 3 3 minus 3 plus 1 4 minus 3 minus 4 it gives the starting index means minus 1 is the index now i am going to the result set rs is equal to stmd dot execute query 
execute query means i am giving the select star from employee means the select star from employee returns whatever the records are available in the employee table it returns all the records in the employee table after that i am creating the print writer object it is used to write the response into the page now i am give print writer object this is the print writer object see here i am creating a statement object i am creating a statement object here that statement object with the 1005 and 1007 means it can be moved to any direction that's why that is the 1005 and the 1002 i am moving into the exact index now here i am get the minus 1 index i am moving to the part that particular index i am writing into the table writing into that table after that i'm creating a result set i'm i'm executing the one more query here why because i need to know how many records are available into that employee table that's why i'm re I, i'm executing the one more query that is select count of star from employee means the count of star means how many records are available into the employee table that count will be returned for this query now result set now i am getting the total number of records rs dot get into phone how many records are available that count will be stored it into the total number of records now i am preparing the links for that records see here number of record number of pages is equal to number of records slash record per page now means for example there is a 10 records are available each page i need to display only three three records for that 10 by 3 means how many pages four pages means it is round up to the four pages three threes are nines means four pages four into three there is a 12 records we can be displayed into the 12 pa uh, three pages now total number of records get done as equal to number of pages into the number of records per page now number of pages i am showing into the number of pages here number of pages plus one if it is uh, for example there is a 10 records are available but i am displaying only three records per page means it can be one record is there but uh, uh, in for example three threes are nine only but one record is remaining is available that's why i am creating the one more page total number of pages i am incrementing the one more page if it is written the fraction i am increasing the one more page after that i am creating the links here a href is equal to ps colon page number plus k whatever m here i am giving the here now this is the way to create here now i am opening the connection in the init method i am closing the connections into the destroy method whatever i am executing the queries all the queries i am put it into the here see here nothing is there logic in this in this method simply i am whatever i am creating page number i am getting the page number from the request what i am calculating the total number of records means i am hitting the separate query select count of star from employee table it returns the whatever the uh, how many records are available in the employee table it returns that can be stored it into the total number of records and re record per page i am giving the static number record per page how many records i am going to display into that page that is record per page i am starting index i am calculating here starting index for example i am giving the third page for example third page 3 into record per page is 3 9 minus record per page plus 1 9 minus 3 plus 1 4 means 9 minus 4 means fifth record no i need to start index means you need to start with the fifth record number of pages means how many pages we need to display no, how many pages it uh, depends upon total number of records if the total number of records may i am displaying the three records per page now uh, depends on total number of records how many pages i need to display it's the number of pages after that here i am reading the uh, parameter page number after getting the page number i am executing the query select star from employee i am executing that i am moving to the that particular index i am displaying into the table after that i am executing the how many records are available into that employee table i am checking uh, i am storing into the variable total number of records 
uh, after that i am creating the depends on the number of records and creating the that particular links into that html response html page now i can show i can explain after running my code run as run answer i can put it into this projects into the github if you want the code please go with the github and get the code see here in my database the total records is uh, five records are available i can show really five records are available or not root use sada select star from mp see here there is a total five records are available in my database that's why it's showing the two pages means i am displaying each and uh, i am displaying three records per page that's why it is the two pages are available if the more than uh, six records is available it shows the three pages see here i'm clicking on this here this is the first page i'm clicking on this here this is my second page for example i can insert here inserct for example inserct insert into emp values insert into the emp values of the first one is 15 second one is a string third one is salary fourth one is the department number now fifth uh, two four five six six record is available i can insert one more record it's going to the third page insert my employee number is uh, 16 name is uh, something now i am executing i am committing the code to the database now i am hitting the one more time see here see now there are the third, uh, three pages are available why because i am inserted the in a recently two more records see two uh, four five six seven records are available now i am displaying each page has a three records means three pages means the first uh, first page is the three records the second page is three record three 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 plus three six records the third page is one record means only one record only available 16 sada 1310 if i am going to the first page this is the go this is my second page this is my third page we can select it randomly also this is the way to create a pagination by using the servlet this is the whole logic if you want the code i can put it into the github repository uh, the github re uh, repository link i put it into the description if you want the code you can go through that github repository and get the code and do the practice thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.